You're watching the book reviewer with Cindy Brady, where we make hardcovers soft. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the book reviewer with your host Cindy. And I have a series in review for you all. Um, so, the past couple weeks, you guys know that I have been doing a series called Home to Hickory Hollow. It is a five book series. And I have read all five books. And in order, they are The Fiddler, The Bridesmaid, The Guardian, The Secret Keeper, and The Last Bride. I have read all five books. And each book has their own book review video to go with it. Um, so, this has been a crazy couple weeks. Um, but they have been good. And I, I can't say enough about this series. Um, so, let me briefly run through um, each book. Kind of what the synop synopsis of what's going on. So, The Fiddler is the first book. It was one of the most interesting that I've seen. Um, this lady, she is a concert person um, who plays the violin and has done so her whole life. And her parents um, want her to go in a different direction than what she wants. And... They have a power struggle, and there are um, things that happen that that bring the Amish and the Fiddler together, and it's quite an interesting story. It um, incorporates music, from which I understand the Amish are not too keen on, um, because it's it makes them a little bit more worldly, I think, um, but. That one was interesting in the way that the title and the story kind of meshed together to give the book its name. Um, so the bridesmaid, um, Beverly Lewis, takes us back to Amish country and follows the story of a few families getting together and, and their friendships and the way that they prepare for their um, nuptial season. They call it a big wedding season. Um, it go, goes from, I think, l early to late September to almost in December. So that's quite a few months that people have to be able to um, get things planned together, get people married, and help them settle down in their um, household and establishing that for them. Um, the third one is The Guardian. This one was an interesting book. She, this um, is about a woman. The Amish call her an Englisher because she's all fancy and she has computers, she has internet, she has phones. Things that the Amish really don't use um, in their culture. And she finds a girl that is, I think she's three or four years old, finds her and she brings her back to her people. Um, and she is welcomed because they didn't know where this little girl was for even a couple of days. And they're very grateful to her. And, um, she gets, um, introduced to this lifestyle that she is not, um, she is not used to. And she spends a bit of time with them, um, and she loved being there. And that one was a great one. Um, it kind of had this little twists and turns, so... Um, you didn't know what you were going to get um, with that. Um, the Secret Keeper is the fourth one. And the little synopsis 
was um, there's this lady that she that is a fancy person um, in Amish culture. She lives a busy life. She has a job. She has this and that and the other. And she is drawn to the simple life. She is drawn to being out in the country, being able to raise animals for food, and being able to do the things that an Amish person would need to do, like hitch up horses to a carriage or a buggy, um, being able to get away from the busy lifestyle that she is used to. Um, and it is interesting because the Amish don't take to people that want to become like them very often. It is actually very, very rare for them to accept per a person from the outside um, to mingle and get used to being around their people. Um, so that was an interesting one. And the last bride is kind of a, a story about a father who has daughters and this last bride is one of the last girls to get married from their family and that one was interesting um, it was probably in a total of I'm gonna guess over a thousand pages for these five books combined so um, would the book reviewer recommend this series? Absolutely, because um, while each book had its own story, I have expected that the books would be a continuation of this one family or these this one group of people to be continued in the next book. But with the prologues and the epilogues, it kind of completes the story within that one book. So, um, I'll leave a link down in the description below um, to where you can find the list of all the Hickory Hollow books on Amazon. Um, I can also insert a playlist of the Home to Hickory Hollow series if you're interested. Um, so, all in all, this was a great series. I think I would um, look for more from Beverly Lewis. Um, it may be more of the same, but it may not be. Um, I'm grown quite fond of her, the layout of her books and, and how everything's really clean and wholesome. And there's not much wrong with learning another language while you're at it anyway. So um, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, keep reading, don't stop believing, and we will see you again next week, or tomorrow, actually. Bye, guys!